Hey folks, Steve Horn with Short Sales Done Easy, your Phoenix Short Sales Specialist. Took my uh, in-house negotiators to a meeting the other day and we went to meet with lawyers. So most realtors out there are scared of lawyers. Uh, a, they cost money and some of our clients are scared of lawyers because they think it's going to cost a lot of money to sit down and talk to lawyers. But real estate agents aren't lawyers. I'm not going to pretend to be a lawyer. I cannot actively give you advice as it relates to real estate law. My job as a realtor is to provide you with the best information out there possible and give you your options. In doing so, I thought it was a great tool and time well spent to sit down and talk with Thompson Law Group. They're there to assist and take a look at your loan and see what risks you're going to have if you pursue the foreclosure route or if you pursue or pursue the short sale route or if you go loan modification. They're not there to do loan modifications. There's a lot of law firms out there who are claiming they specialize in all sorts of law and oh, by the way, we specialize in loan modifications. Be careful out there, Mr. Consumer, because uh, there's a lot of Lawyers, there's a lot of realtors trying to get into this niche of short sales and loan modifications and you just have to interview the right people. I felt that we met with uh, Thompson Law Group and they provided us with a wealth of information. And basically their main point when taking a look at the short sale is the short sale really isn't a real estate transaction. It's more of an unwinding of a loan using an asset such as the property as a tool for for the short sale process. So it's basically just pretty much an unwinding of a loan, but the asset is the, the uh, property, thus enters the realtor. So, you know, when we're taking a look at giving legal advice, there are risks in doing short sales. There are risks in the, in the foreclosure. I have great information that I provide to my clients that can show you which route may be the best option for you to take, but ultimately I cannot advise you on which is the best legal route to take. There's realtors out there right now in this market who do not know the ramifications of short sales but are taking short sale listings because that is the only listing that they can get right now. Remember, it's our job as realtors to go out and get listings and sell properties. Well, there could be long-term ramifications of doing this. As a short sale specialist and a short sale real estate agent in Phoenix, I'm taking quite a bit of risk by taking a high volume of short sales. My key component in doing the short sale is I know that I can help my clients stay out of foreclosure. And if my clients come to me and want help and want to avoid foreclosure, that's what I'm here for. I definitely advise all my clients to speak to an attorney and speak to a lawyer, and I also advise them to speak to a CPA, because I'm just not going to take a short sale listing without having my clients agree to at least seek the advice or have that option to seek the advice. Uh, I'm short selling some of my investment properties. I've done my due diligence as far as knowing my risks and so I can sleep at night knowing that I do know my risks. I do know that at one point, one of our properties, we took out money to put towards a pool in our next house. Well, as soon as I did that, that was not purchase money. I'm at risk for a lawsuit from the bank. Even if I short sold, even if I have a non-deficient state, I'm still at risk for a lawsuit on that portion of the money that was not used for the purchase of the home. Now I took that money and I put it into another home where we built a pool, so there's gray areas and that's where the lawyers and CPAs come in. What uh, you know the Thompson Group does is they take a look at the history of the entire loan and they're going to analyze that loan. They're doing what's called a short sale review on that, on that loan or loans to track the history because if it is purchase money you're in pretty good standing once it gets outside of that purchase money you're at risk for lawsuit that may not be covered in the anti-deficiency statutes 
once again, not a lawyer. I can't advise on how you do. I can only give you options. So if you are interviewing other short sale agents and they're coming to you and say, oh, this is great. Here's what you should do. Here's what I'm advising you to do. Be very careful. Um, and real estate agents, be very careful as well. Seek the advice of attorneys because they know real estate law. We can give options to real estate law, but we can't advise on real estate law. Uh, keep on checking out your website. Hope you enjoy these video blogs. Come to Short Sales Done Easy, get your free short sale survival guide. And at Short Sales Done Easy, we do make your short sale done easy.